Welcome back everyone, Xdark Absolutely here. Today we bring you a Minecraft Pocket Edition video. Before we begin, I just want to say that the winners of the Greek Mythology uh, pack have been announced. I'm sorry for the delays, the winners are in the description. I also sent a message to the winners, so make sure to answer to that comment. Give me some information and then I will give you the skin code. Now, today we got you this map which features all of the Minecraft Pocket Edition exclusive features. Yes, features that only exist in Minecraft Pocket Edition, nowhere else. And um, today I will be showcasing that with this map. The rules are, don't break blocks, play on creative unless you want to be killed by shulkers and volume on. So let us begin. And I hope it also features uh, uh, some features that used to exist in Minecraft. So uh, let's begin with the number one, which is igloos can generate with beds of random colors. Now, I assume this is a exclusive for now feature because 1.12 is the world of color and will implement the color beds on Minecraft PC, now Minecraft Java. And um, yeah, for now, this this is an exclusive feature for Pocket Edition, the color beds. And um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Minecraft Pocket Edition kind of works as a testing place before implementing features on Minecraft PC. Uh, one of the famous uh, items I remember is the way squids uh, work and the way rabbits work. They were all reworked on Minecraft Pocket Edition and then resubmitted on Minecraft PC as well as the beetroot. That is an exclusive Pocket Edition item, food, and uh, yes, it was later sent on to Minecraft PC, as well as the pathways for the villagers. Those are also Pocket Edition exclusive, and then they were sent into PC. So let's go to the next one. Codrons. Water, watercolor can be changed by adding dyes. Colors can be mixed, can be used to dye items like leather armor. Can also store potions and uh, what else? Can also store potions and will make an explosion sound, not a real explosion, if potions are mixed, and the potions will disappear. Potions inside a cauldron creates a potion particles of potion in the cauldron and can be used to make a tipped arrow. Alright, so this is how it works, and it was implemented on 1.13.14 I believe, and it is, current, it is an exclusive feature that later on made it to Minecraft PC, so what you do is have a have an item let me actually grab this the tunic <clears throat> have it right here and uh, let's say you want to dye your tunic into a pink or magenta color all you need to do is tap on it or right click on it on on PC or Windows 10 and then just uh, tap on it once again with the tunic and as you guys can see it would change color just like that and then to change the color on the cauldron all you need to do is tap repeatedly until it changes color so as you guys can see it is a little lighter this is a little bit lighter and this is the main color that you want so you tap on it you now have a white leather tunic or cap and uh, for the enchantments all you need to do is grab a, an item or a potion send set it in this place let's say potion of harming just give it like that you will see the particles to let you know this is an actual dangerous potion or that it is a potion of enchantment on this cauldron and then all you have to do is put or dip your arrow into the cauldron and soon you will get an arrow of harming which is a tipped arrow you can even place right here so there we go that's how it works and uh, let me just uh, remove it and place everything back so uh yeah that is the exclusive feature that of course later makes it into minecraft pc and uh yeah it is cool that minecraft pocket edition gets some of the features first and then gets sent into minecraft pc later on so uh yeah i'm gonna keep the potion of leaping why not all right next one chests are directional regular chests won't connect to form a large chest if they are facing a different directions chests can be placed next to a large chest 
horizontally, which they can do on other versions of Minecraft, and they will close and can't be opened when any mob or player is standing in. Now, the directional, I did knew. I did knew you can do that. You can do this kind of chest thing, and nothing will happen. But the the standing on top of the chest, it, I didn't knew it, it was a Minecraft exclusive. I mean, you can jump and then just open it, but that is uh, how it works on Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I believe it also works like this with shulker boxes. They can't be opened if you are standing on top of it. So uh, yeah, this is the exclusive feature of chest on Minecraft Pocket Edition. All right, next one is the enchantment table. And this one says they give a light level of 12. Now, this was implemented, I believe, on 0.13. And um, the light level is an exclusive feature. I don't know if Minecraft PC already has it. It probably does. Uh, but uh, when it was implemented, it was pretty dark. And the devs thought it would be interesting to just give it a light level. So... They give it, they create an enchantment table with a light level of 12. And it's very cool to have. I mean, an enchantment table, instead of using torches, it could look better. And uh, yeah, this is the enchantment table. So let's go into the next one. Using bone meal on a one block high flower will cause dandelions or poppies to grow around a rose bush. Rose bush and peony have a different, different and darker texture. So the peony and the rose bush have a darker texture and flower if you use bone meal on top of a flower let me see where is it where is the bone meal here it is if you use it right here you it will create another flower around it and uh, if you use it on the ground of course it will generate grass and i don't know if this will cover it but i will get it away earlier and that is if you use a bone meal on a sugar cane it will actually grow so I believe this is an exclusive pocket edition feature because it makes it very very efficient to make sugar cane farms and uh, yeah I don't know if you guys knew that but that is actually possible all right the next one is they are blocks and not entities like in PC edition which means they cannot share the same space as some blocks like levers buttons and torches that is item frames and uh yep which means they cannot share the same space as some blocks meaning that they cannot you cannot place things like a narrow i mean like a torch or a lever or a button on top of an item frame that's uh that's the meaning of this i know people use item frames and torches to make an effect of medieval lighting but it does not work anymore like that on pocket edition Next one, the leaves turn white when snowing. Now this is a very cool feature, very exclusive to Pocket Edition. And if it starts snowing, this is what happens. They would turn white. Look at that, slowly changing to white. Making the effect that they are under snow, they are covered in snow. And uh, I didn't know there was an actual animation of them turning green to white and it looks fantastic i love it look at that look at this perfect beautiful beautiful the jungle leaf looks like a golden apple tree that is beautiful and then if you turn it off of course they will soon turn back i believe there we go it's over and uh they stay white for a while i believe all right <laughs> but they look awesome i love them let's go into the next one the next one is nether brick have a brighter texture and uh yes nether bricks are a bit brighter compared to the minecraft java version uh, and uh yeah that's pretty much it i believe you can do this they will not drop haha <laughs> magic power of minecraft and uh yeah they are brighter which is good for exploring and uh, not seeing just dark everywhere so let's go into the next one which is potions require one tick to retract instead of retracting instantly as they do on other versions of minecraft have a tick have a thick brother neck can push blocks and uh there we go let's do this 
can push block entities such as chest dispensers will break signs when powered with one tick pulls a sticky piston will not leave the block it is pushing in front takes longer time to extend and quasi connectivity but powering does not exist that's why the observer has been implemented because since uh, pocket edition cannot have the same exact type of redstone as minecraft pc for some reason they had to come up with some changes and look at this look at that as you can see you can move entity blocks such as the chest with an item inside and nothing will happen they will not break they will keep going stone cutter available only in creative used for decoration now the stone cutter is a very old item implemented on 0.5 and its purpose was when crafting was added into the game of pocket edition the, it had a limit of crafting recipes the crafting table could contain so in order to not create another crafting bench and use the same technology they had uh, they had a very old type of crafting where it would give you the the item name a short description and then just how to craft it it was very interesting it, it was very good very interesting it was different from this very different from that and uh, in order to avoid um, making the crafting bench be over full they decided to create a stone cutter which will focus on all these stone related materials such as brick stone brick stone and all of that mossy cobblestone i believe was also part of it before it was removed or made it useless on 0 0.12 i recall i believe it's 0 0.12 so yeah that is the stone cutter and uh, let's go to the next one sugar canes can be fully grown with bone meal so there we go this is the one that i wanted to show you or that i showed you earlier sugar cane can increase its size using bone meal but if they have something on top of them they will not grow so all you need to do is remove it and as you guys can see they will grow taller now I don't know is that it I think this is it no no wait oh yeah I remember let's go to the next one I think it's this one there we go perfect so um Bits have a 2D texture in the inventory in the hotbar instead of a 3D model like PC. As you guys can see, it is totally 2-dimensional, not 3D like on the PC version. Let's go into the next one. Leather horse armor can be dyed using a cauldron, can be crafted using using seven leather in the shape of a niche, just like that. And uh, I don't I, I didn't knew that. I thought it was uh, similar to PC, but it's actually not. And uh, you all, all you need to do is that. All you need to do is give it a purple dye or a blue dye, blue dye. And look at that. The horse armor is blue. Now it is magenta or purple. But if I give it a red, it will turn into leather horse armor. I think magenta. I believe. I, I think that's magenta. They do change color when you combine them, which is very cool. And uh, let's go into the next one which is potions of decay splash lingering and arrow are unbrewable so that means you can only find them or craft them into i mean hack them into a world you cannot uh, brew them so that sucks but that's how it is on pocket edition i hope for now let's go into the next one lead has been has a better physics lead lead okay so i grab this uh, I spawn a cow and grab this okay that's about it let's grab the lead the cow the lead a sheep so I have it like that oh sorry yeah it has a uh, it looks better has better physics so I'm just gonna place it like that there you go there you go pig I mean uh, sheep oh my goodness this is not my day come on you two Stay there, stay frosty, my friend. All right, the next one. Shulkers can be dyed by pressing and holding with a die or right-clicking with a mouse. So yes, you can do this with a shulker. All you need to do is sneak on them and boom, they are now green. This one is now yellow 
and they are very beautiful shirkers but let's say you want a white shirker there we go that's how you can do it in minecraft so uh yeah of course these are aggressive towards you but um, you can have them, I don't know, you can spawn them in Minecraft and keep them as pets, but you will have to be careful as well. So let's go into the next one. Squids spawns version exclusive baby squids, produces a black cloud of ink particles when attacked, have bubbling particles, what else? Um, have exclusive sounds when spawning, diving underwater and dying. So yeah, Tommaso, okay. So yeah, Tommaso, what he did was, since squids were pretty useless in the game and had no purpose other than granting black die and be killed by, uh, by wardians, what Tommaso did was completely rework the squids to be more useful and uh, he gave them a baby, a way to spawn babies as well as giving them black ink when you hit them which is a very cool feature to have in Minecraft Pocket Edition. I mean, they're not as useless as they were before, but there still are squids. Now, now it's time for a little features before the last feature. This one, I believe, is info. Oops. With command block, has a repeating command block instead of in pulse block. So that's what's going on. I'm gonna turn it off. This one is... Uh, Sheeps will keep the color when sheared, so yeah, that's the, the color of their skin, you know, the small wool colors will remain, will remain their color. The next one is Melons and cow webs, putting a melon block in a crafting, ta in a crafting table will give you 9 melons back and cobwebs will give you 9 string. So, I grab this, I grab this, and then go to the crafting bench. Nine melons, melon slices, and uh, if I go here, I got nine string, which is very useful in case you guys want to have something to eat, or if you guys just want to or need string in order to craft a bow or something else. Now this one is boats need a shovel to be crafted. Now, as you guys know, my uh, Minecraft boats were reworked recently. And uh, Tommaso was quite this was not pleased at how boats worked and how they glitched a lot on Minecraft PC. So what he did was create a boat that could change uh, colors depending on what type of uh, wood you used, and uh, it also gave them uh, shovels, so you could use them and it could stop glitching out, and you could just actually make it go forward make it go left make it go right on pocket edition on minecraft pc i believe it's different and uh yeah so that's how boats were changed and i believe that was on 0 0.13 as well or 0 0.10 or 11. it was before i'm pretty sure it was before uh, the actual another update so right here we got uh andesite granite diorite and their polished variations can be used to make stone slabs. So if I grab this, there we go, and then go right here, they can all be used to we what? They can actually be used to make stone slabs. Huh. I don't have wow, that's I didn't knew that. I thought what? But that is stone. Alright, that is weird, that is weird, I didn't knew that, I did not knew that. Uh, today I learn. Now this one is... Redstone dust have a plus shape instead of an O shape and connects to pistons. Just like that. And uh, the last feature is... The wither when its health reaches 50, it will spawn 3-4 wither skeletons around itself and it will start to use its charge attack. New animation create when new animation when creative and killed HP is 600 hearts times uh, 300 or three instead of 300 hearts, which is 150 hit points. And uh, yeah, so uh, it is different. It is a little bit a little bit different. We got a diamond sword. 
and we got immortality, I believe. So let's begin by fighting the Wither. That is the last feature. That is how it spawns, and you can hit it. You can hit it while attacking, and you will bounce back, which is fun. Fun. And he is going to banish. It's gonna explode. And I don't know how much damage I took, but I have immortality, so it doesn't matter. And he is gone. Alright. There we go. So, these are all the exclusive features of Minecraft Pocket Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are wondering of any other exclusive feature, uh, there's a link in the description where I talk about five five exclusive features that were on Minecraft Pocket Edition before, but not anymore. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.